Welcome to the Green Mountains of Vermont. This is survival preparedness for beginners. This is what's called a white birch tree. <laughs> Hear that noise? I don't know what that was. It could be a deer or a bear. Alright, we're back again, and what we're going to do is we're going to try setting up just a little quick shelter right here. And we're just going to use a little bit of bank light, cordage, got a small little axe that will fit in your backpack. I saw my knife, and that's it. So, we're going to get building on this, and uh, hope you guys all enjoy the video. And here's, here's my son, he's in the video now, How's he's going to be helping me build. Okay, so, so far on this build, what we have done is we have got our, our roof structure. We took and we've latched these all off together. Those suckers aren't going anywhere. We have a middle beam that's going to run down through here. And as you can see, we've put these in. And these are going to be our rafters that go across here. And then we're going to use pine needles. So this is all secured down right through here. Be a nice little shelter to get out of the rain. Same thing at this end right here, you know, it's all in just tying this off, pulling it nice and tight, and this stuff ain't going nowhere. So, here we go, we're going to keep going. Okay, so now we're putting on our roof, as you can see, here we're using pine branches, and we're taking, we're placing those up at the top, there. To give us protection if it did rain or you know snow one or the other it's not going anywhere it's a beautiful fall day as you all can see beautiful day in the woods nice breeze blowing kind of cool well we're sweating from uh, working out here but it's coming together pretty good So on the roof, we have two long poles that run from one tree to the other. We just use the trees as our existing poles and they're not gonna go anywhere. And then we just latch them all off, latch them all together, latch the front of here that is holding up everything in the front. As far as the pine, they make a excellent blind so people can't see in. You can see out, there is a tarp right back in here, covered with some pine needles and stuff, so it kind of blends in even more 
than what it would without it. And you just lay it right on top. If you can find moss, it'd be really great. You could put that on top and uh, make it almost a waterproof roof. Medicine bottle, folks. Cotton balls and Vaseline. That's all you need. Get yourself a nice little fire going. And white birch. There we go. That's all it takes, folks. Right there. So now, so we put this shelter together. It took us about three hours. Nice little shelter. It's all done with canopy and stuff. It's kind of more of a, like a hunting blind, if you want to put it that way. Um, but there's room in there for uh, two people. If you want to come around over here, I'll show you. We did use a tarp. But, if it was a quick shelter to get out of the rain in an emergency type situation, not something to live in, you can do this with just what Mother Nature gives you. And try to stay dry, get a little fire going if you can. And like I said, you did have a, a, a little tarp, put a tarp up, and this way here it breaks the wind and stuff from the very back. So you could sit in there nice and comfortable and stay dry. Uh, Lots of pine tree um, on top, around the sides, and everything else to help block out the wind and take care of all that kind of stuff. But it'd be a nice little uh, shelter for the evening if you're stranded, lost in the woods. You know, you never know what you can be up against here. So now we got a little fire going, and then uh, we're going to get some water going and get us some food. We're going to be doing some mountain house chili mac with beef. We're going to be splitting that for lunch today out here working in the woods. Best thing to do. Lightweight folks, so if you're, you're backpacking, hiking, whatever you're doing out in the woods, always make sure you got some of these with you because these things are awesome, lightweight, full of all the calories and nutrition that you do need. Make sure you got these. After a hard day's work, we're having Mountain House chili mac and beef, folks. And it's delicious. Just add water and we did it right over the fire. Mmm. I tell you, freeze dry coming right out of a bag for 25 years to 30 years. Just way to go right there, folks. Survival preparedness. I'll talk to you in a little while. I'm going to finish eating this. Catch y'all.